Hello and welcome to today's lesson on current laws, which is part of the electricity topic in GCSE Combined Science Physics. So in today's lesson, we're going to look at defining what the laws are that govern current in circuits. So if we've been successful and learnt in today's lesson, we should be able to state the basic definition of current, describe how current varies in a parallel circuit, and describe how current varies in a series circuit, which links into the following part of the GCSE Combined science physics specification 6.2.2 series and parallel circuits so in electrical circuits there are two main types of circuits there are series circuits and there are parallel circuits now what is the difference between the two types of circuit and how do they vary in construction well a series circuit is a circuit with one loop of electrical components now in a series circuit if there's a break in the circuit all of the circuit stops working now in Another way of describing a loop is as a path. So we can say that a series circuit is a circuit with one, uh, one loop of electrical components or one uh, particular path of electrical components. So like a TV series, when there's one episode after another episode in a series circuit, there's one component after another component. Now a parallel circuit is a circuit with more than one loop of electrical components. Now each loop is called a branch. Now, in a parallel circuit, if there's a break in the circuit, only the branch with the break stops working. Now, each branch takes the same energy from the battery, so the more branches or loops, the more energy drained from that potential different source, that cell, that battery, that power pack. So there are two types of electrical circuits. There are series circuits, which have one loop or path of electrical components, and you've also got parallel circuits, more than one loop or path of electrical components, where each loop or path is called a branch. So here's the circuit diagram of a series circuit. Now all circuit diagrams should be drawn to a large size with a pencil and a ruler. The components can be clearly seen and there are no breaks in the circuit. Now in a series circuit it's one big loop. Now just to indicate something to you, a voltmeter does not count as a loop since it's just one device, it is a special case. Now here is a circuit diagram of a parallel circuit. So you can see that this this is a parallel circuit as there are more than one loop and each loop is called a branch. So current is the rate of flow of free electrons or charge in a circuit. Now conventional current flows from positive to negative, however the electrons actually flow from negative to positive, so it's a very important idea. Now there are three rules which govern electrical energy transfer in circuits, and these are called Kirchhoff's laws, which are named after the physicist Gustav Kirchhoff, who discovered them in 1845. Now, Kirchhoff's first two statements relate to current in a circuit, the flow of electrons in a wire. So the first rule is that at any junction in a circuit, the total current leaving the junction is equal to the total current entering the junction. So we can say that the total current into a junction equals the total current out of a junction. And this can be shown in the following example. So you'll see here that we've got six amps going into the particular junction, so we must have six amps going out, so we've got 2 amps on one side and 4 amps on the other. Now the second statement, the second rule, links to a one loop. And that in one loop or one branch, the current is the same throughout the loop. So this means in a series circuit, the current is the same everywhere it is measured, which can be shown in the following example. So current is the same everywhere in the loop. So it's 10 amps at the battery, it's 10 amps at the bulb, and it's 10 amps in the wire. So let's just recap the current laws, or Kirchhoff's first law of electrical energy. So rule one, at any junction in a circuit, the total current leaving the junction is equal to the total current entering the junction. And rule two, in a loop or branch, the current is the same throughout that loop or branch. So let's summarize what we've learned in today's lesson. There are two ways of joining electrical components, in series and in parallel. Now some circuits include both series and parallel parts. So for components connected in series, there is the same current through each component and for components connected in parallel the total current through the whole circuit is the sum of the currents through the separate components so if we've been successful and learned in today's lesson we should be able to state the basic definition of current describe how current varies in a parallel circuit 
and describe how current varies in a series circuit. So I hope you've enjoyed today's lesson on the current laws, which is part of the electricity topic in GCSE Combined Science Physics. Thank you very much for watching this lesson and have a lovely day.